Hey, hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with Kaylon Divine on my YouTube channel, Kaylon Divine Inspiration. Today, guys, we're just going to do a quick seafood night, and I'm just preparing a meal for one person tonight. And we're just going to quickly do some catfish nuggets. We're going to fry them up in some hot grease, and we're going to saute some shrimp and some mussels. So let's get cooking, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode, again, with Cooking with Kaylon. All right, guys, we're going to get cooking, and we are going to use some already pre-cooked mussels. I found these in the grocery store. It saves a lot of time. They are already seasoned, but I am going to add some additional seasoning to it. They have garlic and butter sauce already on them. They come pre-packaged in a um, seal proof, vacuum seal proof bag. And again, you can see here it says fully cooked, quick and easy preparation, heat and serve. So you only can you know, cook them maybe about 6 to 10 minutes or so um, to your desired um, texture. Okay, You can cook them on the stove or in the microwave. I'm not going to cook them in the microwave. I think I prefer them better in a pan to let them simmer and saute because I'm also going to dump the shrimp in there once they cook for a couple of minutes and mix them together. And let me show you what the bag looks like. And this is the bag that they come in. Just kind of rinse some of the um, frost off of it so you can see it better. And they come already in a, um, like I say, a vacuum seal pack. So they are secure. And it's up to your choice. I'm going to cook as is. But you can always, um, once you open the pack up, if you prefer to rinse the sauce off of, not to use the sauce that it comes and make your own sauce, you can do that as well. However you prefer to do it. But I'm going to use the sauce that comes in here. Like I said, they're already pre-cooked for you. So you're just basically heating them up and serving them. And along with this, guys, we have our catfish nuggets. I only did a few pieces because, like I said, I'm just cooking for one. So I don't need a whole lot of catfish. I don't want that much fish. So we have probably about three pieces. One of the pieces is kind of chopped up in the smaller pieces so it's really like three catfish nuggets there I've already seasoned it and here as you see we have our jumbo shrimp I did not use the whole bag I just took um, a portion out of it it's almost half of a um, bag and these um, shrimp here the little thin shrimp shell is still on there I prefer to cook them whip that on there because it helps to keep the shrimp um moist and keep them from overcooking so much but they are already seasoned okay guys really quickly here we have honey mustard and the steakhouse grill marinade once i put the shrimp in the cast iron skillet to saute i'm going to pour these two things on top of the shrimp okay that's not on there as of yet i'm going to pour that on there in a minute i seasoned the shrimp and the catfish nugget both with some creole seasoning some lemon pepper seasoning some cilantro leaves we also use some garlic and pepper seasoning we use a little curry powder on this shrimp only. And actually we use the garlic and pepper seasoning on the um, shrimp only. Curry powder on the shrimp only. And then we use Italian seasoning. Here guys, I've already put my flour mixture in a Ziploc bag. You can use a Ziploc bag or a regular grocery bag or a bowl or whatever you prefer. But um, for this video, I used the Ziploc bag. I pulled flour and cornmeal in here. And I also added some additional seasonings in here that I used to season the shrimp and the catfish on it. Give it a 
generous shake and you're ready to go okay guys I have some onions and bell pepper simmering that I'm going to place the mussels over in they're sauteing in some butter and here we have butter sauteing on here that the shrimp is going to go into okay, and we're just going to put our shrimp in there and this is a cast iron skillet so it helps to cook evenly you don't have to use cast iron skillet if it's something that I'm using okay um, see what the mussels looks like in the pack I say they're already seasoned you can see that butter sauce in there with um, red bell peppers and little onions so we're going to transfer them to the pan and I'm just going to take the pan I mean the bag and just dump them in there So that's coming from the sauce that has melted already. And we're just going to let them simmer in there. And I do have a lid that I'm going to put on here. Okay, you can see that the shrimp is simmering. The honey mustard dressing has been pulled on there. And the steak and grill marinade has been pulled in there. And it's marinating. So I'm just going to let that cook maybe another two minutes or so. And then I'm going to transfer it over in the pan with the mussels. And you can see here the mussels are sauteing. A lot of them have started to open up. And I did pour a little of the um, steak and grill marinade over in the mussels. And I'm also going to add another little secret ingredient. Okay, this is the other ingredient that I'm going to add. Um, it's called cooking wine, white cooking wine. It's Pompeian. And it's not really alcohol. It's only a small percentage in there, but not enough to do anything to you. But it's used in a lot of cooking dishes. I like to use it in some of my seafood dishes. And we're only going to pour a little. You don't need a whole lot. So yeah, excuse me as my camera is going everywhere. I'm trying to hold my camera in my hand while I'm doing this. Okay, so that's that. And now we're just going to let that simmer for a few more minutes. And we're going to put our lid back on it. Okay. So how many guys thought, oh my God, did she put the lid on us too or did we go blind? Everything went black. I thought I had stopped the camera for a moment, but I didn't. It was still rolling and I had set it down. So that's why everything went black. Now we're going to put our um, catfish nuggets in. The grease has been um, going for a moment on low so it is good and hot and we're just going to drop all of the catfish pieces in there like i said it's only about three pieces in there okay so our catfish has, is battered now in the flour and cornmeal mixture and that's a good thing about using a bag you can just dump all of it in there at one time and shake the bag up or either toss it around with your hands so it is fully coated just shake the ex excess um, flour meal off of it 
and you don't have to use a combination of flour meal you can just use one or the other a lot of people just use corn meal only a lot of people like the arnett's corn meal but i didn't have that for my fish so i combined the two because the regular corn meal um tends to come off a lot in the grease so when you mix it with a little flour like you're doing chicken it helps the cornmeal to stay in place from my experience anyway right that's frying and then we're just going to toss the little bitty pieces in here which equals up to about one nugget and there you have it so we're gonna let that fry for a minute or so and then we're gonna flip it and also guys the benefit of using a ziplock bag rather than a regular loose bag is that it's syllable and if you want it to save your flour mixture especially when you're seasoning your flour um, you can just put it in the refrigerator and use it again when you fry fish the same thing if you're doing chicken um, just make sure you label your bag so you don't miss mix up the flour um, mixture that you fried the fish in with the one that you fried the chicken with okay all right the mussels have cooked their time limit pretty much and now we're going to pull in our shrimp and you see that beautiful shrimp So let's transfer that over and we're just going to pour it over in here. I probably should have used a larger um, pan because the mussel shells are so big. But originally, I didn't know whether I was going to use all the mussels, but then I went on to pull all of them in here. So we're going to make it work. We're making it work. We're making it work. We're making it work. We're going to make it do what it do, what it do. And I'm going to put the lid back on and let it simmer together. That way some of this goodness off of this shrimp can soak into the mussels. And guys, you know what else would have been good with this meal? Some white rice. White rice would have been good with this, but I'm not going to cook no rice. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to do that. But that would have been good because you could have took that rice, took a bed of rice and um, hold some of this on top of the rice and all of that goodness, that sauce mixture over that rice. Oh my God, I bet that would have been so, so awesome. We're just going to cover that up and let it simmer. Uh, make sure we're turning down our heat a little bit more. Okay, now we're back over here with our fish. I've already turned the heat down on the 
fish because I had it heating up for grease heating up. So I turned it down. I don't want it to cook too fast. So make sure when you're doing your fish that it's at a low to simmer temperature so the grease doesn't overheat and cook your fish too quickly. And it be well done on the outside and surely, surely, purely raw, uh, raw on the inside. So monitor your grease um, temperature. Okay guys, while we're waiting on our meal to complete, let me just give you this little quick commercial break. <laughs> I'm going to insert this into this video. I'm trying not to have it too long. I'm pausing throughout. Um, I'm doing it on my phone so it will be an unedited video because I'm not going to be able to upload it because the file is going to be too long. But anyway, quick commercial break guys. If you haven't already done so, please follow me on my other social media platforms. And also, if you haven't done so, if you just happen to visit my YouTube page, please click that subscribe button today and follow me on YouTube, guys. I need to get my subscriber numbers up. I appreciate your support. Click the subscribe button, follow me. You'll automatically be notified when I post new video content. So I'm doing my cooking with Kaylon video blogs. And I'm also vlogging podcast episodes. So Real Talk with Kaylon Divine Inspiration Podcast will be uploaded to my YouTube channel as well. You can also follow my podcast Real Talk with Kaylon Divine Inspirations on Spotify, Anchor FM, um, Google Podcasts, Breaker Podcasts, Pocket Cast, and Radio Public podcast so check me out on those platforms i'm also looking into another podcast platform which i've already signed up with them but i'll give you that information at a later date but in the meantime follow me on those social media platforms and i'm airing my episodes every two weeks so it's aired twice a month on Sundays and if you subscribe to my social media platform you'll be alerted of the actual decks that the podcast will air okay so check me out on those platforms and subscribe and follow me on those also go over to Facebook guys and join my Facebook business group Kalon Divine Amazing Deals I am an Amazon affiliate marketer and what that means is that I post products for Amazon, things off of their website, and I earn a commission off of qualified sales. So if you purchase an item, then I get a commission off of it. Again, that Facebook group is Kalon Divine Amazing Deals. Go to Facebook, check that group out. By all means, please join, join, join. Share the page, share it with your friends. I've been able to help thousands upon thousands of people save on Amazon merchandise. The products there are on Amazon.com. When you click on the link that I post, you go directly to Amazon website. You purchase directly from Amazon.com website and your merchandise is shipped to whatever address you put in. I'm just posting their links, but you are dealing directly with Amazon for your purchase. Um, once you click on that link and put it in your cart to buy, you are dealing directly with Amazon for the rest of your process. I just post the link to give you the heads up on the promo codes, discounts, price drops, coupons, subscription savings, and on and on so just check it out some items might not be discounted or have a promo code but it may just be uh, Amazon choice of the day or the week or the month something that is selling really quickly and it's at the top of Amazon list so go check out the Facebook group Kalon Divine amazing deals today and follow me on that group All right, guys, we about to wrap this up. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done.
fish is going to come out of this grease and we're going to let it cool for a few minutes and we're going to eat. And these are our catfish nuggets. So they're not like a regular full piece of fish. Of course, the catfish nuggets come in pieces where they um, come pre-cut. So they're cut into pieces. Some are larger than the other. Here you have it guys, a complete meal. We're ready to eat. Thanks for watching, guys. Another episode with Cooking with Kayline Divine on Kayline Divine Inspirations YouTube channel. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Follow me. Please share this video with someone. And please try this meal and recipe and let me know how it turned out for you. Please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching, guys.